guys and welcome back to our channel obviously you have seen the thumbnail we've been keeping a little bit of a secret over here we are moving house yay and tommy is literally just climbing on the sofa as we speak my thought process is if i kick these down it'll go through the stair gate and i need to put that box in a plastic bag but i've got tommy so i've not got too many hands We've got it. We've got the upstairs cupboards here, which is what was used as like the girls built in wardrobes. They built their bed, seemed like a really good idea at the time. Now we've got to actually take it all down piece by piece. I love a little look on right move. I mean like who doesn't? if you're up for a little bit of raw, real and madness, a bit of behind the scenes and a life update, then stay tuned. Grab your cup of tea. Today is a just messy one. So the girls are currently at school. It is now Tuesday the, oh my days, what is the day? I want to say the 20, Tuesday the 21st of September and Tommy and I am trying to pack up the house, ready to move house. This has been such a long time coming. I've kept it from my YouTube, I've kept it from my Instagram because the house market at the moment has been insane. Look at him, he is literally on everything now. We can walk and talk, we can walk and talk, we can walk and talk. The house market has literally been so insane and we nearly lost the house twice in the process of it. We did, we really lost it twice in the process of it. So we didn't want to say anything till it was confirmed. We've all exchanged. We shall be completing on Friday. This video should go up on Thursday. And then get yourself comfy, get that notification bell switched on. We're gonna be doing all the moving, all the renovation, not renovation, but you know what I mean? Like doing the new house up. We're gonna start bringing back the vlogs and just getting down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly take you on a tour of what the house currently looks like now, what I need to do. Ooh, 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 little pigeon baby. What I need to do, you're just gonna have to embrace this Miss Trunchbull kind of hair and no makeup. I've literally not got time to sort that at the moment. And yeah, let's just show you around. So this is the living room at the moment. Normally we'd have a big mirror there. We had photos all up there. And we had the brackets on the wall. Can you see what I've been watching? Whilst I've been doing lunchtime with Tommy, bit of sex education. Can't watch it with the girls, but Tommy's like blissfully unaware. So in the lounge at the moment. Hi little man. Hi. Hi. It is like a like dump site basically so these are all boxes that are all packed and ready or bags to go in the moving van which we should be getting thursday night so whilst you're watching this video think of us because we will actually be packing out the moving van ready to move on the friday obviously it all goes well if this all falls through then you'll you'll see me coming back on here like a distressed mess um yeah, so that's loads of pile there. If you look, we've got boxes there waiting to be packed. We've got all the dining room table, just full of more stuff that's waiting to go. And the pram, you've got Tommy destroying it in there. In the hallway, as you can hear, it's slightly more echoey now. We've literally just got the coats we're using this week. I've literally just left out one coat for everyone. The shoes. We've got, Tom and I's got a pair of shoes each and the girls have their school shoes and their school trainers. That's literally all that's left out. We've got Buddy, yay Buddy. On moving day, mum is going to have a Buddy for us so we don't have to worry about being in a van. The girls will be at school and then obviously I'll have Tommy some breastfeeding. I can't really not have him. You'll see that all the photos are down. Oh, it's like a detour of the house that's going mad. We've filled all the holes in for, oh, there's a fly. It's all right, I'll leave you here when I move out. And there's like, we filled all holes as we're going about for the people that will be living here next. The kitchen, I've not packed the kitchen because like, we've still got two days. We've got all Wednesday and all Thursday here. So the plan is to, 
oh, pack the kitchen tomorrow and then Thursday I'll clean it all ready for the new people obviously having the house. Let's go upstairs. I told you this is so exciting and I'm so, it's so nice to actually be able to share it with you guys because hey, behind the scenes, this is what's been going on and oh it's so hard to like try pretend everything's going on like normal when it is madness up here so this is actually the girls bedroom as can as you can remember we built their bed seemed like a really good idea at the time now we've got to actually take it all down piece by piece to move to the new house you can actually see here this was the frame of the existing bunk bed that we then built up and on from so that is coming down tonight tuesday night so the kids are going to have mattresses on the floor so yeah the girls are going to have mattresses on the floor tonight so that's tuesday night and then wednesday night thursday night i'm going to still pick them up from school like normal and then my mum's going to come pick them up after she's finished work so at least that way on the friday morning whilst we're trying to like move house we haven't got to worry about the school run and rushing the kids out and we can pack up the whole van on thursday night which is nice the girls are really excited to go and have a sleepover at their nanny's house um and at doug's so for them it's exciting they've got two nights of sleeping on the floor Woo! and then not on the floor they're on mattresses but same difference and then obviously they've got two days there and then mum might be having them friday night it depends like what time we get the keys on friday all being like well and good if we've got time to get their beds up and stuff sorted so we've planned that they'll sleep at my mum's friday night but that is subject to change but i'll be vlogging all our moving days so you can see how we get on with it all like all the girls decor is now all down like all the curtains are all down on moving day we're going to get rid of these blinds because they're not good enough to leave for the other people you've got their kitchen i'm just waiting for tom and his dad to come tonight to help me move that downstairs because that one is quite awkward to carry down the stairs and then here i've got a box i can take that one down myself but a box that i'm gonna need help move in tonight and those boxes need to go downstairs we've got the upstairs cupboards here which is what was used as like the girls built in wardrobes they all need cleaning out and all these shelves but that is now all packed then those are just some bits I need to saw. Now is most probably the time to add. If you're looking for someone that's really got their stuff together and is super organized whilst packing, this is not your account. I am a mum of three kids and I'm just doing my best to move house and keep all of our sanity, aren't I? So this is what our bedroom looks like at the moment. As you can see, the TV is now off the wall. We had a canopy up there. That is all down. I took down the curtains about a week ago just because I was like, oh, I can do it now. Who needs curtains? So we've got blinds as well. That's all coming down. Tommy has been actually sleeping in a travel cot for like the past month because we knew we were moving. There was no point buying a cot bed to then move it and try to get it all sorted. And I didn't want to break one or anything. So we've got one for in the new house. So that's actually where Tommy's been sleeping at the moment. It has been carnage, but we're trying to like embrace all the chaos. And then this is the other side of our bedroom. Do you want to go down? Are you going to go down exploring? Dick girl. And he's off. So we've actually already, we had a huge glass wardrobe there. We've took it down and that's gone because it won't fit in the new house. This is my wardrobe. <laughs> that's currently Tom's wardrobe, what we're living out of. That is Tommy's wardrobe. That's just like a box of stuff that will be going in one of Tom's rooms at the new house. This is just pram stuff. This is stuff that came down from the loft that I need to sort in clear boxes that are downstairs. That's all of our products. On the windowsill, we've got some paperwork I need to sort tonight. Some like Tom's tools. He's the worst for leaving tools. And I'm just gonna run and chase this little guy again. Tommy! Tommy! What do you think about moving? What do you think about moving? 
Yay! I would say Tommy has definitely got to the funnest age with moving because whilst I'm trying to pack, he's trying to get in the boxes, climbing on stuff, and while she moved house, it's like a health and safety nightmare. Oh, look, we're matching stripes! Same thing, coordinated! Oh, so that is what the house is going on, what I've still got loads to do. Oh, I'm hoping by tonight it will literally be a packed kitchen tomorrow. I'm going to try sort out some of those boxes in my bedroom and the windowsills because that's more like the unorganised chaos. We've got everything down from the loft so that's all sorted. And if, like over the past few weeks I have tried to declutter some stuff. However, it's got to the point now where I'm just packing it. I'll sort it at the new house. We had all good intentions, didn't we? But good intentions don't always end up being how we do the whole thing, is it? Let's go grab some boxes and I can pack and we can update them all on what's been going on with our moving process. I was trying to find anything in this absolute carnage. But there's method to my madness. I need some black lids, Tommy. So Tom's, we try to play with to our strengths as such. Tom's very handy, put that down. Tom's very handy, like taking stuff out. Oh no, oh no, oh, I'm going to kick that down the stairs. I'm presuming it will go through the stair gate. My thought process is if I kick these down it will go through the stair gate and I need to put that box in a plastic bag. But I've got Tommy so I've not got too many hands. To be fair I don't think that went too badly. Um, yeah, so we play to our strengths. Tom's really handy, so he's good at doing all like the filling, taking down wardrobes, all stuff like that, like taking down the girl's bed. I like to do all the, <laughs> I like to. I've been doing all the packing, all the clothes, all the organizing bits and pieces like that. You literally forget when you move house, how many people you need to ring and tell that you're moving house. Like, my goodness, we've got a list longer than our legs. It is insane, but it's such an exciting, happy time. The house move has been so stressful up until exchange, and then now we've got a date, and we know where we stand, and we can like make arrangements for the kids and stuff. It's good. To be fair, I think what I'm taking downstairs is all mostly like clothes from baby clothes that I've shoved up in the loft. You coming with Mama? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go downstairs. Okay, so a brilliant plan, Zara. Hindsight's an incredible thing. So my plan worked, I got it all at the bottom of the stairs. However, I've also just broke the stair gate. Oh, 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 no, we've got it. Oh. Uh oh, what did mummy do? So mummy, you made a mess, you need to clear it up. This is definitely, Tommy, a note to self that just sometimes, if you think you're doing the cheat way and it's going to be quicker and easier, it's definitely not. Should we just tell Daddy that it, the dog did it? Tell Daddy that it wasn't our fault? So Daddy's going to have to fix it. I don't know. We've got this. Oh my goodness. How do we, oh, I think this goes in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got this. Where's the other two tiles? You see the other two tiles? Oh my goodness, that teaches me, doesn't it? Careful, good boy. <gasps> Ta, can you pass mama that? Ta. Ta. <laughs> no, you're just laughing at me. You're just laughing at me. I got it. I got it. Oh, I think this goes up here. What does that? Ow, my finger. I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. I've got this. I've got this. I'm strong, independent. We don't need daddy to fix it. Mommy got it. Look, look at this as a role model to you, Tommy. <gasps> oh, I'm now in this day, gate. I'm now in it. So, yeah. We... Everyone knows that as soon as we had the girls, we were in a two bed house and there's now five of us as a family. So we had the girls and they were happy sharing, but we knew all along that this was never gonna be our forever home. So as soon as I fell pregnant with Tommy, 
we decided that obviously it was now we had to start saving up for a new house but obviously there was a global pandemic as well so it got slightly more delayed with me being off of work so we've started this year and about april may time we went to our financial advisor again that said like yeah you're in a position that you can move you should be all right and then literally we was the week we was putting our house on the market we were getting everything ready to the new house that came up and i was literally looking at right move every day i love a little look on right move i mean like who doesn't i'll fix that and work up where have you found your toothbrush from where have you got that from where is that down here it is madness it is madness everything is everywhere at the moment ta 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 can you go upstairs ta 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 no it's okay mummy needs to put it up there can we just take a moment to appreciate i've just fixed the stair gate oh look at that tom so yeah as i was saying i've just got tommy some crisps so you can snack and be happy chilling with me I'm trying to retire my hair because i'm a hot mess so we literally were trying to put a house on the market and this house came up and i looked at it on right move we'd been to see another house before this and we walked around and we were like oh there was nothing wrong with the house but it just i didn't come out and feel excited that i wanted to live there and obviously it's a lot of money buying the house we wanted to come out and be like yeah we want to stay there tell mama open it ta. 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 you can have them back you're having them back here you go you want one so that one was a no go there was nothing wrong with it but it was an old property the garden wasn't really kid friendly and i feel like we'd just be moving for the sake of it so this one came on the market tom couldn't get the time off of work we called that night and we already knew that there was like five people booked in to view the next day already it literally only just come on right move so this was <laughs> tell me if you got the camera <gasps> hello hello so we knew that if we wanted it we literally had to get in quick so i dropped the kids off at school that day and i took tommy and i took my sister-in-law because tom couldn't get off work so we needed a second opinion and we looked around it and literally i walked around and i was like this is the one this is the house we need we want it will be perfect for us and everything we need from it so we literally came out, rang the financial advisor, was like, get our house on the market now! Get our house on the market now! <laughs> so they literally put our house on the market the same day and we put an offer in, obviously a subject to contract then. That was like the end of May. Yes, we did. I think it was like the Wednesday. We then had the photographer come take all the photos from our house for like right move on Thursday. God knows why, because you can't polish a turd. You can't polish your turd. And then on the Friday, we had viewings. And like Saturday, we had had loads of viewings. We were really lucky. Like our house went on and we had so many viewings so quick. But when we put our offer in for the new house, there was five people all put in an offer as well. This is me all over. I've realized I'm sat there chatting. I'm not actually doing anything with my hands. Right, this is definitely old baby clothes that I can't bear to part with. So, so let's put them in a box. When we put an offer in, five people also put an offer in on the new house the same day. And some of them were in a better position that was coming all from rented. So it'd be end of chain. So we waited like three, four days to then be confirmed whether they were either going to accept our offer or someone else's. And we just expressed how much we love the house, how much we wanted that house and had to hope and wish. I definitely shed a few tears when they accepted our offer. Little did I know, ha, 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 how much more like worry and upset the house move was going to be like, 
So yeah, we got our offer accepted. We then accepted someone else's offer. And from like the start of June, the ball was rolling. So it's been June, July, August, September. It's been about four months in the process. There you go, we've got a plastic box. Yeah, it's been a longer time in the process, moving along. Are you just standing up? Good boy! <gasps> Let go! Oh, nearly, Tommy! It has been a long process, hasn't it? A long. To be fair, with the market at the moment, it wasn't too long, but it has been a long time coming. Definitely just found all of the girls' old baby clothes in this bag. Just gonna, I can't bear to part with it, so I'm just gonna pop it all in a box. And then we'll come back to that another day or sort of when we get to the new house. Oh, look at the leggings. Tommy, look, you weren't even fitting them. Oh, baby clothes. Oh. Anyone else keep clothes of baby clothes up in the loft? Like, I've no intention of ever using these again. But I just can't bring myself to, like, part from them. Oh, look. Look at this little dress. How cute is that? That literally must be like three, to, yeah, three to six months. It's a little Ted Baker dress. Look, excuse me. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? He's after the camera, aren't you? He's after the camera. So that's what's been going on in our world behind the scenes, a little life update. Obviously, this is what I'm doing <laughs> crazy busy behind the scenes. And I will be vlogging the house move day, all things like that. So from now on in, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of moving videos. I've got a B&M cleaning haul coming up because all the cleaning stuff, for the cleaning I'll be doing on Thursday and Friday at the new house. <gasps> you grumpy boy, you can't have it. You can't have it. Where do you want to go? Better? God, he's tricky. So all bits like that will be coming. It's going to be raw vlogs because I've just not got any time to do any fancy pantsy stuff. It's going to be us as we are. We are so excited. I'm so excited to just share this new house with you. We'll do an empty house tour. Just let me know any comments down below, any kind of videos you'd like with moving. I'd like to give you packing tips and tricks. However, the, my trip is just try and get as much done as I can whilst the girls are at school because moving with three kids is a little bit fun. Madness. He's blaming the wheel of the bike, of the pram. Is that fun? Is that fun? Is it? He just tried to take a step. What are you doing? You eight months old. You eight months old. What are you doing? <coughs> Go on, do it again then. Do it again then. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on then, big boy. Woo! You need to practice standing first. <coughs> so i now have literally 45 minutes before i need to leave and go get your big sister i've literally just started cramming their clothes into clear boxes i'm thinking moving all the loft stuff from black bags to clear boxes should make it easier when we're in the new house to like figure out what it is how quickly it needs packing oh but yeah, I love you all and I hope to see you all on our next vlog. I am so sorry if I have just been rambling. I've got so much to do, so much to tell you. So I just thought I'd verbal bomb. And then hopefully the next video we can go a little bit more settled. It's not going to be though because it's moving day so it's going to be hell. But yeah, right now we're packing up and we're moving. And that is the finished result. Why did you do that?